Welcome to the online video series presented by Structure Studios. This video will teach us how to import SketchUp objects. VIP3D can import the 3D models made in the SketchUp modeling software, which can then be used in our projects. We can use SketchUp to create our own custom objects or use the online resource such as the SketchUp 3D warehouse. Please note that importing SketchUp objects is exclusive to VIP3D. SketchUp objects can be imported using the Import menu or using the Panel button in the Yard Accessories stage. We'll also see the button to bring us to the SketchUp 3D Warehouse online where we can browse or search for the objects needed for our project. We'll click on the Import SketchUp Object button. We're asked which file we'd like to load. We'll select the object and click Open, then set it in place like a standard accessory from the library. We can interact with our SketchUp models while in the Yard Accessories stage. In 3D, we see our model, but it needs a little more love. We can adjust the scale using our other furniture as reference. Before you know it, our SketchUp object is the right size and in the right position. Once imported, we may find that objects need to be adjusted back in SketchUp. Once those changes are complete in SketchUp, the Refresh button will update the selected object with those changes. Like our other library items, we can adjust the appearance of the SketchUp object in the material stage. Many SketchUp objects like this have multiple surfaces to select. Double-click on the various sections to select them. We can then adjust the appearance with the color wheel until the cushion is the perfect color or apply a new material directly from the library. Please note that objects found online will have varying levels of quality. These objects may have issues with their scale, material appearance, or have odd-looking artifacts depending on the skill of the artist who created the object. Please keep this in mind when using these online resources. We may notice that some SketchUp objects don't look as great as the ones created in VIP 3D, such as the doghouse we've just brought in. Applying a material from the library to a SketchUp object is the easiest way to make sure it matches the rest of your project. With our surface selected, we can apply materials directly from the library onto the SketchUp object. Many SketchUp objects use a custom material scale, so when a library material is applied, it may be very large or very small. We can adjust the scale using the slider, or type in a custom value and press Enter on the keyboard. We can type in values up to 99,999. With our SketchUp object looking great, we can save it to the library to use in future projects. First, we'll want to select the SketchUp object alone and click Save in the library. By selecting only the SketchUp object, instead of other content as well, we can assign a symbol as well as default line and fill styles to our SketchUp object and it's treated just like any other library content. We can even create our own custom symbols in the construction markup stage as well. Now that we've saved our object to the library as an official template, we'll select this and other accessories and click Save in the library to save them together as a group. Now we can insert either our single SketchUp object or the group into any other project. Thanks for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions by calling 800 778 8996 or emailing support at structurestudios.com.